you're right there, and that's the good news. But to come up short in, in these series, kind of three in a row, where you're right there with a great team, but um, drop the series. How, how do you ex- take kind of positives and negatives out of all that? Um, I think positives is just showing that we are able to compete with whoever we want. Um, like that faceless opponent that we have, I think we are able to compete with anybody up in the country. Um, negatively, I just think um, I heard coach say just we're not taking advantage of the opportunities that we get, um, which I mean sometimes it happens, but no matter what, we always compete through seven innings. So that's another positive we get out of it. This team knows how to compete. Doesn't matter who it is. Doesn't matter where we are. I just think we always come out. And we're here with the team. So. The reality is there's no consolation. It stings. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sure that locker room is feeling that right now. Mm-hmm. How do you guys rebound mentally? I know you talked about the preparations you guys put in in the off season, yeah. the mental aspects, and that's going to be tested now. Yeah. How do you guys respond and come out the rest of the season and play to your potential? Yeah. Um, I think the biggest thing is just us staying together. I think um, – times like this it's easy for teams to just kind of get frustrated and kind of go away from everything we have built we have built an amazing program like from last year to this year it's the biggest jump we've probably ever seen so i think uh, just being able to rely on each other stick together and just trust the process that we're going through right now like no matter what it's gonna hurt it's we can't change the fact that it hurts us right now but i just think as long as we stay together put in more effort, like all of our bodies tired, the whole country's tired. So that can't be an excuse for us, which we haven't at all used that as an excuse. I just think we need to go one step further and just understand that as long as we're here together as a team, relying on each other, we're gonna get the outcome that we want. Really is today, you're one of them who comes through in those spots and you have the leadoff triple there that is one of the runs, but over the last couple of days where you guys do leave 10, 11 runners on and just don't quite come through in some of those spots, from your own perspective, just what's the difference? Do you think you guys are just tensing up in some of those moments and, and pressing a little bit? Is it What, what is it to the, the line between success and failure in those moments? Um, I don't think we get tense. I don't think that's the word. I think maybe it could be us just trying to do too much rather than just relying on each other right now. Um, the biggest thing is just kind of relying on what we have is good enough. I think sometimes we get away from that when we're trying to just get the runner in like we're just trying to think about and then we get away from our plans usually but yeah no matter what I think we just need to stick to what we know that we can do and understand and trust the process from what we've prepared with if you could describe the mentality in the locker room maybe not a great question but do you guys see the future as as strongly as outside in Mm -hmm. the the average fan does Mm -hmm. are you guys able to recognize that you guys have been right there with everybody up to this point and it's just a hit here or a hit there that's keeping you from getting those yeah 100 percent. i think us as a whole group all 21 of us know that we can beat anybody like put us up against anybody and we're going to compete no matter what so 